Hey y'all, it's Taylor, and today I'm coming with you with my April TBR. Now, as you can tell, there's only four books on my TBR. It's a rather short TBR, but uh, April's my last month of school, so I have exams and packing up my dorm and moving. So I didn't want to be too ambitious and like pick too many books. But I have four books and I'm going to share with them with you now. First book I have is In the After by Dimitri Alimenta. This is a book I um, got when I ordered a and the Story Begins um, subscription box and I haven't read it just yet. I think I got this one in January. Yeah, that's about right. The January and the Story Begins subscription box for YA. And um, it sounds really interesting. It is about um, kind of after the world ends, so you're going to follow your main character. So the main character is named Amy, and one day she's watching TV when they invade. Um, doesn't say who they are. It's going to go with aliens, but we'll see when I read it. Um, so they invade and they take over the world and the population, but Amy, um, she manages to escape this invasion and she comes across this toddler in an abandoned supermarket who she calls Baby. and. Um, she, her and Baby hide for many years, and then one day they are rescued and taken to this colony called New Hope, where there are other survivors. And it seems so ideal, so perfect, they have everything they could need, like food and water. Um, but then Amy starts to notice that it's not really all it seems to be, and she has to kind of figure out what's going to go on, and um, what she's going to do, because there's a possibility that she might be losing baby due to this and it sounds like a thriller um a lot of you know making sacrifices and choices and it sounds super interesting so i'm super excited to get to this book later on this month in april next on my tbr is dear martin by nick stone i picked this book up after i read the hate you give and really really enjoyed it and um it goes along kind of the similar um storyline of the hate you give so you follow your main character justice and he goes to this prep school um and he's really smart he's set on the track to be going to an ivy league college but then um that kind of all comes crashing down when one day he is put in handcuffs by a police officer and um he you know eventually the charges are dropped but he has to kind of figure out what this means and um navigate his way through life being of an african-american descent and then one day him and his best friend are driving in the car um, with music playing real loud and they get pulled over by an off-shift um, police officer and shots are fired. So again, I think it's really going to be an important story to be told, similar to The Hate You Give, emotional. Um, it's a short book, so I feel like this is going to be a lot of emotions and short fan time, but I'm super excited to get to this. Like I said, this is a super important story that needs to be told. And I'm so excited to read it. And if you can't tell, there's a microwave going on in my house. Third on my TBR for April is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. This follows the main character, Marin. I'm going to say Marin. Probably wrong. But we're going to go with Marin. So it follows the main character, Marin, and she is grieving due to something that happened. And no one knows what happened, not even her best friend. So her best friend, Mabel, is coming to visit her. And Marin is faced with this fact that she's going to have to kind of um, deal with everything that she left behind and what she's grieving about. And so I don't know a whole lot about this story. Um, a lot of people have said it's super, super good. Um, and so I'm definitely interested in getting to it. It's also a nice short book, so it shouldn't take me very long to read. Um, again, I think this is going to be a super emotional book, super intense. And I'm really excited to get to this. Um, and I just kind of want to know more about it. Um, the synopsis sounds interesting, doesn't give away too much, so I guess that's a good synopsis, but I definitely want to know more, so I'm super excited to get to this book. And last but not least on my April TBR is The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. This is the original screenplay. I have never read anything by J.K. Rowling after the Harry Potter series. I have not even seen The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the movie. Um, I kind of was against it all because I just love Harry Potter so much. But I figured it was about time. Um, the cover is absolutely gorgeous on this, so I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner. Also, it's J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter, so don't know why it's taken me till 2018 to pick up this book. But, you know, better late than never. Um, yeah, I don't 100% know what this book is about, just what I've seen in, like, uh, trailers 
and what other people know. Um, but I do know it's the Harry Potter world. I think it's before Harry Potter, like before that storyline, all about the magical beasts in the Harry Potter world. So, yeah, don't know anything really going into this book other than it's Harry Potter, but not Harry Potter. Um, and yeah, there's some really cool, the pictures are absolutely gorgeous with like, I don't know if you can see that, but the drawings, and I think it's gonna be a nice, easy read, and I'm excited to get back into the Harry Potter world, so definitely I'm picking this one up, probably in the midst of when I don't want to study anymore, and I hate school, because it's gonna happen this month with finals, so I'll definitely be picking this book up, hopefully to cheer myself up and get back to my work. Um, but I think it's going to be a great read. Those are the four books on my TBR. I hope you enjoyed knowing what I'm going to be reading this month. Um, and leave down in the comments below what you're going to be reading this month. I'm super interested to know. My roommates are awake. I apologize. But anyways, leave in the comments below what you're going to be reading this month. I'm super interested to know. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.